we're gonna get a collab with Primark. Do we think, do we think there needs to be a Primark X Layla Land Hooga collection? How cool would that be? We could have a little beauty range, we could have a little bedding range, candles. What we're doing Primark, let's get a Hooga range going on together. Let's do it for 2020. <laughs> And we're doing it a little bit differently. We're switching it up a little bit. We've got the fabulous new Christmas background for 2019. What do you all think? I need opinions. I need you to let me know what you think of this in the in the comment section, please, because <gasps> is it me or is it fabulous? I need so. Um, loving that. This is the first video I'm filming with the new background as well, so I'm loving that whole situation. Um, we are going to be doing two videos a week throughout December. I'm already thinking I might keep it going next year. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Um, anyway, let's crack on because this is going to take me a minute, okay? This is, without doubt, by far the biggest most expensive Primark haul I have ever done. There are like a couple of items from a different shop, um, which I'll just show you because, you know, we'll tack those on. But in terms of Primark hauls, <gasps> this is the big one. This is the big one. This is the biggest so far by a long stretch. So grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack, get your comfies on. Get the fairy lights on and let's uh, let's get cracking, shall we? Okay. Like, I bought a lot. I don't know if you can... I'm going to get my legs involved on here because I can't lift it all up and I lift weights every day. I mean... Okay. Um, where... 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 Where should I start? I don't know where to start. See, every time I start, there's something I haven't done. Just take my painkillers, bear with. Yes, I date tablets, weird, go with it. Okay. Right, back to it, feeling marvellous. Right, okay. So, I'm gonna start off with this because look at it, it's so cute. Um, So I already have my tree and everything done downstairs that's all fine that's all pink and iridescent and just fluffy and beautiful um however i spotted this kind of star packaging with 40 baubles in it for eight pounds and thought oh they might look nice hung on there so on the fairy lights i don't know if you can see i don't know if you can actually see any of them but i've got on my fairy lights little tiny bulldog clips they're really, really cute. I think I just got them from Sainsbury's, but you can get them from most um, stationery shops. Um, and I hang on them um, some bobble hats that a viewer knitted for me in my first ever year of YouTube. So I'll, I like, keep those up all the time because they're such a nice um, memento of my first year. And just the fact that somebody had sat and done that for me, I love it. Um, so they're hung up there, but I like to hang like pictures or postcards. Um, leaves in autumn things like that so i thought these would go really nicely with the color scheme of the background and can hang up on there so i'm very looking forward to getting those um hung up and it looking even more festive behind me so that was marvelous um as i said they were eight pounds um i don't know which bag to start on oh god there's so much this as well isn't everything that i've bought because obviously there are some things i can't show you because they're for surprises for people and even some of them might be one of you if you've entered the competition. Um, so, um, I'm just going to go, I think, left to right. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Next out of the bag is this 
bad boy. So excited to get this on. I bet Leonard's excited to get this on because he loves a cosy bedding situation as well. So we've got the Sherpa duvet cover set, which is like fleecy teddy bear material. So I'm so excited to get this on and get snuggled in. Oh my God. So this one, I've got the double one uh, size and it is 24 pounds. And I believe, I presume we've got the duvet cover and pillowcases. Oh, okay. In this box is a load of goodies for a video that I'm doing. So I'm not gonna show you that just yet. Oh, then I got these for the car. Very so cute, look at them. So these were like two pounds each. And I think there's three in each pack one. Three, one, two, three. Yep, so we've got just car air fresheners and we've got Christmas tree, um, candy cane and a gingerbread man on that one. Who cares what they smell like? Look at them, they're well cute. And then we've got Santa, snowman and Rudolph on that one. I think that one, this set will have to be like in the second half of the month. Um, and these can be in the first half. Cause I feel like these are like getting ready for Christmas with the tree, the candy canes, the that's like the decoration and the getting ready for Christmas. And then these can be like, you know, it's happening. It's happening. He's on his way. <laughs> Love it. So yeah, they were two pounds each. I kind of don't want to put them back in the bags because I feel like I should immediately tidy everything away. And then I can just get rid of having bags everywhere. Okay, so you can go there. I like to be organized but oh yeah okay so i got some more of these i'm actually wearing see if i can do it last year's christmas leggings da -da, da -da. um and they're so soft and so comfortable and i like to wear christmasy things every day but obviously you've got to wash them so i've got like a couple of pairs of these already so i thought i'd just get some more um, and then whilst other things are in the wash, I have at least got some more to wear. So I've just got the black and white version and oh my God, I literally can't deal with how soft Primark things are. And I feel like I'm going over the top and saying, oh my God, it's so soft. But everything from Primark is just ridiculously soft. Appropriate cozy sticker on there. These were six pounds, so love them. Okay, they can go over there and be hung up later. So I have to have an organise while I'm doing it. But if any of you are aware, but I am obsessed with leopard print everything. That's like my colour scheme. Everything is either leopardy or pink or the two together. Love it. My absolute favourite. So then I went and got these, which are just gorgeous. So we've got the leopard print um, back gloves, which are sort of black on the inside of the, the hand beautiful they were three pounds and then i got this bobble hat as well which is the leopard print black bobble hat i don't think i've got anything leopardy in the bobble hat situation i've got pink bobble hats and i've got black bobble hats and i've got double bobble hats but i don't think i've got leopard so i'm very excited for that one let's leave beauty stuff to the end shall we um right then i went and got a couple of pairs of earrings so okay so there's 20 pairs of earrings on here. <sighs> I'm starting to see now where people call me extra. So we've got candy canes, we've got um, snowflakes in various sizes, we've got bows, we've got, look at the gingerbread men. Look at the gingerbread men, they're so cute, I love them. Um, there's like different kinds of studs in the reds, the golds, very festive kind of things. These though I think are gonna be my Christmas day earrings. So I've got these beautiful um, long um, Santas, but what I really like about them is they're hinged as well. So he's, he's like hinged at his little hat. I just love it. I just think it's a bit cute and it's a bit of a different design. So yeah, love those. They were two pounds. Um, the 20 pack was three pounds. Just if you're keeping tabs. Um, there we go. Uh, love this one. I spotted this one in the shop like months ago. And as soon as the Christmas stuff started coming out, I was like, that is definitely coming to my house. It's a pink Christmas mug. Hello, what have I just said about pink? I love it. Um, so we've got Rudolph, but he's actually got a jingly bell for a nose. <gasps> oh my God, I didn't even see that. Tis the season to sparkle. Love it. A leak thought. Oh, I also got these, which I thought were really cute and actually give a really nice effect. So I've got these, I've got two packs of them. Um, the indoor strip lights. 
So to kind of put them underneath cupboards or underneath shelving or a mantel piece and it just gives that really nice kind of glow underneath which i think looks very expensive and very bougie elite thought so these are 1.5 meters they're battery operated it's the warm white version and these were two pounds each so i got a couple of those i love it i've just i've just spotted something in my bag that was obviously next to me yesterday when i covered myself in sparkles for it to go to the gym and they're now sparkly which i love elite thought Oh, back on the earring front, um, I went out the other week and really wanted to wear a massive pair of hoops and realised that the only hoops I've got are silver ones and it was definitely not a silver friendly outfit. Um, so I had to stop and get some gold hoops. So we've got the smooth ones and these are a bit textured, a little bit rope like, um, I would say. And they were £1.58 for two pairs. So you can't really complain there, can you? Oh, I went and got some new underwear as well. So, love stocking up. Oh, I've snapped the hanger off that one. Oops, I have to watch out for shards of plastic in there. But yeah, I love, like I say, pink leopard. Um, I love just the multi-packs of um, underwear, bras, pants. Love it. So, I think the three-pack of t-shirt bras, they were £8 each for three. Um, then I spotted this. How could I not? What have I just said about pink and double bubbles? Oh my God, it's just such soft wool. Uh, it's almost, it almost feels like mohair. Like, is anybody else from the 80s and everything was mohair, but it was really soft. It just used to make me itch like mental though. Um, I'm not too bad with it at the moment. Um, so this was three pounds? Yep, this was three pounds and I just love a bubble hat with a double bubble, I just think, is instantly 50% more adorable. I just do. Instantly. Without even trying. Speaking of adorable bubble hats, though. Look at him. Hello. Oh, look at bug eyed. Um, look at him. Look at him. Is it me or do the eyes, if you sort of squint a bit, they look like two swans facing each other? Hello. 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 Just me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, right, so yeah, I mean, do I need to explain? It's soft, it's gorgeous, it's cute, it's adorable, it's a bobble hat, it came home with me. This one was four pounds, love him. Ooh, treated myself to a new gym bottle, a new little water bottle for the gym. I mean, it's bright pink. And a leak thought. So this was two pound 50 and I just flipping love it. I mean, how Barbie-tastic is that? Love it. I like to think that's what Barbie would take to the gym with her. I'm gonna leave this one to the end because that's gonna be like a the big day item. So I'm gonna leave that till the end. Oh, some stationary items. Why not? Um, little known fact. Uh, is it a little known fact? You may know this about me. I absolutely love the Disney villains, particularly Maleficent. As a young kid, I totally related to Maleficent, being left out of everything and feeling like everybody vilified you for being annoyed that you were left out of everything. I mean, hello. Um, so there was, on the one hand, this note paper block, which I love. I'm a big fan of just scribbling a little note to somebody or scribbling a, scribbling a little reminder that I don't necessarily need to keep in a notebook. Um, so these come in really handy. But look, they've got all the Disney villains on. We've got Cruella. We've got Ursula, we've got the evil queen from Snow White, I'm dropping things, we've got the evil queen, and we've got my girl, oh yeah, and I love that they're the original designs as well. So Maleficent was from 1959, wow. Ursula 1989, Cruella 1961, oh wow, the evil queen 1937, oh my god. Wow. Elixir. Uh, I love it. Okay, so it's got the days of the week. So we've got Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then just weekend there. But I'll just tip it down so you're not being blinded by the reflection. Um, we've got Monday, we've got the typical Cruella behind the wheel of a car, like crazy face, saying I need more sleep. Um, we've got Maleficent with Diavol the Crow saying where are you weekend. Uh, there's Jafar. Just snuck in there, little little Disney villain going on there that says hump day because it's Wednesday and he's looking a bit peeved as Jafar does. And then we've got evil Queenie dude on uh, Thursday saying is it Friday yet? And then we've got uh, Ursula doing her lip hate saying out of here. And then we've got Scar. 
lovely spa thing and relax for the weekend. Um, then we've got a little like to-do list, tick list thing going on. I am the queen of the to-do list. Although in my world, they're not called to-do lists. They're called to-da lists because they're a little more fabulous. <laughs> oh, how much was he? He was three pounds 50. Did I tell you how much the note block was? The note block was three pounds. There you go. You feel well informed now, thank you. Oh, I got these cute little tea lights as well. So they were two pound 50 and they're just the LED battery operated ones. Okay, then I got some little festive tea towels. And again, like the air fresheners, I think um, this pack, which is just a bit more, um, just generally festively themed is gonna be kind of the run up to Christmas. So we've got uh, like little penguins, got, I think this one is just a plain red, but it's that festive, you know what I mean, red. We've got kind of a minty green, I think plain one. Um, and then we've got this one, which is kind of the snowflake, the kind of, is it Argyle print? Uh, snowflake, very kind of Nordic situation there. But then I think these are gonna be the either Christmas week tea towels or at least Christmas Eve, Christmas day tea towels. Um, so we've got this one with a really cute like reindeer, Santa. It's got like holly and a bit of like festive foliage on there. But then we've got this one. This one's definitely gonna be Christmas day tea towel. Um, but yeah, we've got this one and it's got the Santa belt across it. And then it's just got these little cute dangly Santa legs like he's like, on the tea towel, love it. Like it's just gonna be sat on my little oven, love it. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna be Christmas week, or at least Christmas Eve, Christmas day, and these are gonna be the lead up to Christmas, love it. I do try and be festive in each room. Then, and these are definitely gonna be on my table for Christmas dinner, which I'm very looking forward to. Um, we've got my mummy coming for Christmas dinner again, so that's really, really good. Um, so I've got this, which is just a plain red, tea towel no it's not it's a plain red tablecloth but again it's that very festive christmas red there's a very specific christmas red um so that's that and that's going to go on the whole table um it's washable um it's ironable with leaks art you can stick it in the tumble dryer um so this was seven pounds and it feels really good it's really heavy so it feels really good quality and then as well, I've got this little tartan festively themed table runner. So this will go kind of down the middle and just make it look a bit jazzier. So he was six pounds for that. And again, it feels really weighty and really good quality. Um, and again, yeah, washable, uh, tumble dryer, ironing, fine. We like that. Don't laugh at me for this one, okay? Do your best, do your best to try. I'm aware of how extra I am, okay? So, I quite like still the rose gold theme. Um, and they had some rose gold metal coat hangers. Go with me. I really like all my coat hangers to match. And I really like fancy coat hangers. I like it when there's like, you know, the little velvet ones with the little bows on. However, I don't like the, the feel of velvet and I don't like the feel of other materials kind of rubbing on velvet. Ugh. So yeah, there were there were packs of these, so I bought 30 of them. Um, they do have quite a lot of clothes. So yeah, that's great. Anyway, these are three pounds per pack and each pack has five coat hangers in them. That's all I can show you from that bag because I do have some little gifts in there. Mm -hmm. um, right, as we know, jingle, jingle. As we should know, I am a massive fan of the Christmas accessory. I like a Christmas hat, I like a Christmas headband, I like a Christmas earring. So um, I may have gone nuts buying Christmas headbands. So we've got this one, which is obviously a uh, sticker bow on me, I'm done. Kind of, hello, what more of a gift do you need? <laughs> Type situation. That was uh, £3 for him. Then I also got this one. Look at it, look at it. Um, obviously we've got the reindeer antlers there, avec bells on. Um, so yeah, he's just beautiful. And it says, weirdly, it says on it, I am not a toy. Sorry. Um, he was three pounds as well. I'm presuming because small parts and all that, but still, 
Then I also got this one, which is very similar with the gift on the jaunty angle situation of it. Look at that, love that. Oh, I could wear it with the uh, gift ball one. Bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with. Look at that. We could totally combine the two. Look at that. Uh, uh. This says you need, to, you need to be like, you know, just limited to one headband per day. There's many as you can get on there, I say. Um, then I got this one. Um, I do love a Santa hat, but I get very hot wearing a, a woolly hat all the time, especially filming. I thought these headbands would be really good for my videos because I don't overheat in front of the 78 million lights. So that's that. Got him as well. I think they're all £3. Let me just double check. And yes, all of the headbands have been £3. Um, also, I don't have any slippers for some reason. Um, so, went and bought myself some slippers. Look at those! They're so cute! Um, so yeah, what more do you need to know there? We've basically got Mickey Mouse in his little Santa hats. Love it! Oh, and it feels like they've got some nice little, like, memory foam support going on in those as well. Love them. Ding, 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 ding. Have a little Charlie Chaplin moment. Um, they were £8. So, yeah, loving those. Cannot wait to get those on my little Tutsingtons. What else did we get? Oh, speaking of cosy. I was going to say, nobody will remember this, or do you remember this, but I know that there are viewers who do remember me buying furry leggings because it's been commented on. I think last time I went to Primark, one of my subscribers was like, what, no furry leggings? Yes, actually, I bought two pairs, so... Um, so yeah, these are weird. I, again, I don't know why they call them velvet plush because there's nothing velvety about them. They're really soft and lovely on the outside. And then on the inside, look, it's like faux fur. It's beautiful. These should be on prescription because my God, they work so well when it's cold in keeping my legs nice and warm, which keeps me a little bit more pain-free. So yeah, love those. They were six pounds each. Um, also, I'm feeling a little bit underwhelmed with my current pajama situation, which if you know me, can I put my hair up now? There, that's, that's a little bit better. Um, yeah, like you all should know by now that I am such a massive fan of um, pajamas. Love pajamas. The minute I get in from whatever I'm doing, if I don't need to leave the house again, I don't care if it's 10 o'clock at night, I don't care if it's half past 11 in the morning, the pajamas go on. I look forward to getting into my pajamas. I have pajamas for certain moods, for certain occasions, for certain times of the year. And I think, because I've not really bought any new pyjamas for such a long time, I'm kind of a bit uninspired by my pyjamas. I don't know if anybody else gets inspired by the pyjamas, but there we go. Um, so, I actually have winging its way to me right this very second. We are waiting for a pretty little thing order, and there are three new sets of pyjamas in there. But I also got a new set of, I'm going to call this more just loungewear, because I think I'd get way too hot sleeping in this, but you never know, I do live in Lancashire, it gets very cold up here. Um, so I got this kind of loungewear pyjama top, um, which just says Barbie on the front, and it's a proper like licensed, oh, it's already got my hair all over it, there we go. <laughs> Love it, super soft, got the Barbie logo right in on the front, oh it's a bit sparkly as well, oh, I like it, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but the actual writing is a little bit um, sparkly love it i'm not sure shut up 60 oh it's just celebrating 60 years of barbie no way wow um i'm not sure how this is going to do in the wash i will get back to you um but things with this kind of plasticky printed on writing don't tend to fare very well in the wash but i will report back and let you know so this is how much were you please this was 10 pounds and it's just oh so soft i think this will be tonight's pajamas and then also i have to have matching if there is an option for matching tops and bottoms in a pajama set i have to get both of them because i love a matching pajama um so then i went and got the bottoms as well and it does have the barbie writing down the left leg and what i love as well is it's got cuffed ankles which is my preference 
for a pajama bottom um especially if you're going to be wearing them in bed because i feel like a cuffed ankle they don't get wrapped around your leg quite so much <sighs> serious business is pajamas you know serious business but yeah i definitely think unless there's a set in the order i've got coming from pretty little thing that's like gonna just make me go no that one i think these will be tonight's um pajamas um, right, so you can go over there on that pile. Shall I show you this now or shall I show you this right at the end? I'm going to show you this right at the end. This is the like Christmas day one. Um, okay, let's do beauty first and then I'll show you this right at the end. <gasps> See if I haven't shown you these. These are what I got out of the bag that were covered in sparkle spray and I just totally forgot to put them back in the bag. <gasps> okay, so as you uh, may know, will you know this? You should know this. Um, if you've been around a while, you will know that I have had two massive knee reconstructions. Not reconstructions of massive knees. The reconstructions themselves were massive. Um, so I've had both of my legs done. And I now really, really struggle to wear heels. And it makes me so sad. Um, I've basically had one tiny part of the reconstructions was to move my kneecaps. So my kneecaps aren't like level on each leg. So I'm so like uneven if i wear heels which obviously just is defeats the object and um, so i have to wear flats and one thing i love is knee boots and just that i always find knee boots really difficult because i find the flat ones really boring but let me take this off and then i can show you the back and everything i found these four suede knee boots look they're totally flat ah! usually i find them and there's a little bit of a heel on which still hurts um but i kind of just make do with it but these are totally flat oh, yes thank you primark like you made them especially for me um but i really love as well this kind of lace up detail on the back very 80s love that um so yeah i'm just so excited to be able to wear knee boots and get a proper like cozy autumn winter aesthetic outfit going on with some proper knee boots and I can wear them. <laughs> love them, love them. And these were 18 pounds. So yeah, loving that. Right, we're definitely into beauty now, I promise. Oh, I'm gonna put some of this on now, actually. Um, One thing that Primark do super well, and I feel like everybody just sleeps on it, is the perfumes. <gasps> the perfumes are gorgeous. I get so many comments um, at the gym, wandering around in shops to say I smell nice and it's usually um a Primark perfume that I've got on or a Primark body spray um I've got the pink collection so I've got the perfume I've got the body spray I've got loads of them um so then I spotted this called mauve mauve go with me was my absolute favorite color in junior school and I remember people would be like, oh, what's your favourite colour? Because you were like eight. And that's like, you know, the important information you need to know about people. Um, and I'd always say mauve. And nobody else had, had heard of mauve. And I'd always get really like, what? And it'd be like, it's like a purpley pink. Like, it's a well nice colour. So I spotted that. I was like, oh, mauve. Went over. Give it a whiff. Ooh, it smells gorgeous. Thought. Um, and I love the bottle as well. Like, I like that it's still a glass bottle. But it's not kind of the see-through standard bottle. Love that. So I'm going to spritz some. Where's the thing? Oh, it's there. Oh, it just smells gorgeous. Um, it's a very, very nice, grown-up, but still fun, fresh scent. It's really nice. I can't put my finger on what it is. It's not quite floral. Ooh, passion fruit, grapefruit, and tangerine balanced on woody base notes just gonna leave that there because i don't know what that means but it smells really really nice it's an actual perfume so it will last um it's an eau de parfum um so it will last a little bit longer and it was like not much money where's the wrapper i've thrown the wrapper away it was five pounds for a really nice perfume that's a proper perfume that's gonna last i am a huge fan of face masks i just think um, whatever skin type you've got, whatever um, purpose you want to use your face mask for, whether it's a priming mask, whether it's an exfoliating mask, whether it's a moisturising nourishing, whether it's to balance your oils out. I just feel like there's a face mask for every person, for every skin complaint or for every skin want. And I think they're a really good way of... So I'm a huge fan of face masks. 
Um, very excited to find these. So I'm really, really looking forward to, to using them. So these are all metallic peel off masks yeah this is the moonlit galaxy one the metallic peel off mask and this one's got pearl in it which is very very nice love that one then we've got the pink one which is the starlight is it starlight or starlit starlight galaxy peel off mask and this one's got rose in it um rose i believe is very um calming uh which we leaks um, then we've got the blue one which is twilight galaxy and this one has got collagen in it which is going to be the one that i'm going to jump for first because it's very very um plumping very nourishing for your skin collagen is um what your skin produces naturally it should do anyway when you're younger and it gives you that kind of bouncy youthful plumped up um appearance to your skin and as we get older our bodies don't produce as much of it or don't produce it as easily so you tend to find collagen in skincare products for um more mature skin i'm kind of getting to that point where my skincare products i'm looking for collagen to be in it a little bit more just to give your body a little bit of a helping hand in um getting a bit more into your skin because we don't produce it quite as much as we get a bit older and um, so that one is going to be the first on my list i went through a phase i think it was last summer of using these constantly from uh, primark and i haven't seen them in my local primark for ages for some reason and it's just the charcoal uh, peel off face masks and i don't know what it is about these specifically but i've never used a peel off face mask quite like this one um oh my god just instantly my skin is smoother it's softer it doesn't feel as clogged up um and, I, and it's got to be the charcoal with the peel off thing um because obviously as you peel off i think the idea is you take kind of a top layer of dead stuff with the peel um and any kind of little blackheads or whiteheads or anything like that hopefully go with it which will naturally leave you feeling a bit softer and smoother because you've taken all that rough layer off um but i think the addition of charcoal which is kind of a an absorbing cleansing purifying ingredient um i think that really really works well and these are like 80p each so i always stock up when i see them and I, yeah it was literally like oh i went and grabbed loads of them so i got like a handful of these can't wait to be using them right we're onto our last couple of items now gang the leak sort right so i spotted this does this packaging remind anybody of the Too faced better than sex mascara this very much makes me think of that this one's called false lash queen um i've never used the Too faced better than sex mascara but i do have a little Too faced um order on the way and i'm pretty sure there is a mascara in it so i might do i might just have a look and see if it looks like it's a little bit of a dupe and see if we can do a little bit of a comparison um but that was three pounds then i've got a couple of palettes because when can i ever go shopping without getting palettes um this is just your standard highlighter palette so this is the glow getter six luxury highlight powders um and this is listed as cruelty free as well so yeah it's just your kind of standard highlighter palette to be honest um we've got a really nice white one there which i think i'm going to try using as kind of a an inner corner situation called ibiza nights um and it does go up to fairly deep as well so obviously i'm not the expert i'm not going to be like yes everybody can use this palette but um from what i've kind of seen so far in palettes i do feel like there's quite a good range in there of kind of goldy kind of ones there's pinky peach ones there's the bronzy ones so yeah hopefully lots of people can use that so yeah i'm looking forward to trying that one and that was oh, oh, six pounds there we go okay last on the beauty list is this look at that packaging a luke thought a luke thought sucker for a bit of leopard print i really am i really am absolutely an actual sucker for um so this is the jenna frooms i presume i'm pronouncing this right um collab with primark when are we gonna get a collab with primark do we think do we think there needs to be a primark x layla land Huga collection how cool would that be? We could have a little beauty range, we could have a little bedding range, candles. What we're doing, Primark, let's get a Huga range going on together. Let's do it for 2020. Um, but yeah, just look at that. It just looks, for me anyway, like a really nice, neutral, everyday, beautiful palette. 
the shimmers that are in the middle these four in the middle are all shimmers they look absolutely stunning we've got like a raspberry we've got a gold we've got a bronze and we've got that green man um so yeah i am very looking forward to trying that i've got over on my instagram coming up this month lots and lots of christmasy inspired looks christmas party inspired looks new year party makeup inspiration going on um so i've got this i've got another palette that's very glittery and beautiful that i'm trying dying to try um so watch out for these appearing over on my instagram uh, at leather land insta on to the last item have you waited have you waited patiently this is going to be my christmas day outfit and i didn't even realize until i got it home and showed my eldest that it's got a hood hat situation with it so look we've got this santa dress i love it so much look at that oh my god it's so cute and also go with me even though i am very extra at christmas i'm also very practical at christmas and i will be cooking a lot at christmas because have family and people come to me for christmas dinner i love that it's got short sleeves love it so i can be in and out of the pans in and out of the oven mixing baking doing all that good stuff don't have to keep stretching the sleeves pulling them up any sort um but yeah didn't even notice look he's got a little hood with it i love it i presume it's not for wearing because it's like attached via buttons to the back and he'd be a bit like this um but yeah just as a little extra decoration and you obviously can unbutton it and wear it as a hat if you want to but i love that isn't it cute i love it so how much was he did i tell you how much the eyeshadow palette was okay the eyeshadow palette was eight pounds and there's 10 one gram pan eyeshadows in there and it's a mixture of mattes and shimmers as well so we leak thought um the santa dress is at 16 pounds so that's that one right we did it that was it well that was everything i can show you anyway so that was my most expensive primark haul and i can't even show you the whole thing because there's some surprises as well and there might be some surprises for you viewers i did mention that earlier i do have a christmas giveaway running for the next few days it closes on the 11th of december you need to be following me on twitter which is at layla land tweets uh, and you need to be obviously subscribed to my youtube channel layla land um links for all my socials and my extra channel and everything else are all in this all in the description so if you want to come and find me elsewhere it's all just down there ready and waiting for you to just click and there i am um but yeah basically all i want you to do to show me that you're entering is to follow me on twitter subscribe to me on youtube and leave me a comment on whatever my last um video is on the day that you're entering and just let me know what your favorite christmas movie is i'm having the best fun finding new christmas movies that i've never heard of so that's cute um but yeah the winner will be um drawn on the 11th of december i'm gonna leave it as late as i can on that day to draw the winner because it's open internationally um i know what kind of time zones to um you know not be a factor in you not being able to get your entry in um so yeah winner will be drawn then and then prize shipped out on the 12th because or the 13th um because of last kind of posting dates and all that jazz so go and enter that would be lovely make sure you're subscribed make sure you come and follow me on all my social medias um come and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought and what your favorite item was and whether you're feeling inspired to go and do your own little shop um and i will see you in my next one which is actually on here only in a couple of days. Don't forget as well, I am doing Vlogmas again this year. I don't know why I keep doing this. Vlogmas, two videos a week on here and getting ready for a family Christmas on my own as well. So like, not on, like I'm getting ready on my own. So yeah, I don't know why I managed to like make myself crazy every every year, but here we go. So go and subscribe to my new channel, which is Layla Land Extra. Um, which opened this month with Vlogmas and it's going to carry on after Christmas and just be like a weekly vlog channel um, so yeah make sure you go and subscribe and come and say hello and make sure you're having fun whatever it is you're doing make sure you're having fun and you're having a lovely time and you're having a great day and um, I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching love you all see you soon bye